Hello rugby fans and welcome back to episode number 4 of my Rugby Union Team Manager 4 series as the Taunton Titans. If you've seen the first 3 episodes you know the league has gotten off to a poor start. 3 losses, one was a pre-season friendly but our last match in particular... A last second 14-13 loss to Roslyn Park. Could not believe my luck if I'm being honest. They had a man sent off and it was a real disappointing performance not to come away with a win. But onwards and upwards we're into episode number 4. Some more transfer news and business to conduct before we get into the match against Darlington. But please do drop a like if you're enjoying this series. Leave a comment down below. As I always say, give me any advice, help, tips in those comments of players I should look for, um, tactics I should play, structured, etc, etc. Um, yeah, any advice is grateful. And if you haven't already, please do more that subscribe button to stay up to date with the channel. Now, first things first, um, I've made a couple of updates to tactics. Our scrum half is now going to be a playmaker. Um, we're still staying on structured and structured there. Um, I think attack-wise as well, um, we will remove these and just play a balanced game, really. I went expansive in the top half of the field. And I feel that hasn't quite done the business for us. Um, I think, yeah, what do these really have massive amounts of difference? I mean, I may go blitz in defense in our opponent's 22. See if that improves anything there. Um, but apart from that, let's leave that there. Um, some more transfer business, as noted. I've added a few more people to the shortlist. Um, first things first is Scrum Half. We have got Harry Morgan, a 23-year-old Welshman, 48 rated, can play Scrum Half and Fly Half at Ampter Hill. And we're going to look at approaching to buy. Well... We were until we saw how much he was valued at. Um, so unfortunately that is not going to happen. Um, who else have we popped on here? We've got Matty Jones, 51 rated. Um, that could be the way to go. He plays for Hartbury. He can only play scrum half, but let's have a look to see what we can do here. We really need to get that key scrum half position sorted and I'm happy to go all the way up to 97 on the satisfaction rating to get the offer accepted which we do now the key thing he's going to be guaranteed first team let's get that wage up let's just get him through the door offer accepts accepted Matty Jones is in the club and then we were also looking at wing We've got Joe Branning there at 22. Tom Emery at 48 from Coventry. I think we're going to go there as he's valued less. Um, let's see what we can do. 93. Club rejects. So we're not going to get another winger in just yet. I will come back to him because he seems good value at only 15k. Um but Matty Jones has joined the team. So let's get over to the players and the team selection and get him involved as quickly as possible. Matty Jones in for Banks. And then we'll look to get him. Where's Banks? We'll get him onto the bench. At scrum half, let's look how our bench is set up. We've got a utility back, outside, inside, wing. Um, so let's just put him on for that utility back. Um, who is Massey Birch? This one here. Right, there we go. Our scrum half is in. We can begin our match. Again, I'm going to show this one. Um, until really we get a balanced squad 
um, some a squad that are putting in consistent performances and then we'll start simulating and moving our way up the divisions but first I need to make sure we have the squad to do that um, we're gonna get straight into the camera and on fast as always we're gonna do the auto manage on everything and we're gonna see what we can do it would be lovely to pick up our first win of the season. I forgot to check to see how Darlington are doing. i got a funny feeling they are near the top of the table. So it's going to be hard work to beat them away from home in particular. But I want to see some improvement. We've got our new forwards in there. We've got a new scrum half. I forgot to say as well, Jack Bates is making his debut on the wing. He's finally finished, finished that party lifestyle and is available for selection. Um, so yeah, we're almost at our very strongest, although it looks like Sean McCartney will go over for Darlington for the first score of the game. Conversion is good, so not the greatest of starts. We've hardly had any possession. Looks like Darlington have picked up an injury there. It looks like they're going to be kicking the ball away. So we should be getting ourselves our first bit of good possession. Frankie Dart picks it up in the backfield all the way up to halfway. Let's see what we can do. They've still got a player who's injured by the looks of it. The flashing injury sign. Let's see what our new scrum half can do with this. And we've got a penalty. We will kick for touch. We're inside the 22. Let's use our centers and see if they can make something happen. Oh, Tom Popham almost broke through the line there. But we are in a good position. Can we do something? Frankie Dart in to Matty Jones. Our new scrum half signing has scored in his first game for the titans which levels thing up conversion from jenkins good seven points apiece great to see matty jones pick up a try in his first game to really get him on the side of the taunton faithful knock on from charlie white the skipper darlington have a yellow as well um so it would be nice to get possession back and try and make that man advantage count although so far this season we haven't had much luck with um being a man up on our opponent should we say possession is more balanced now but darlington do have the ball and i think their sim bin time will be running out shortly we're approaching half time Let's just keep things level pegging. Let's keep things 7-7. Seven, seven. In an ideal world, we'd turn the ball over and make this man advantage count. We have. We've turned the ball over. Let's see what we can do before half time. What on earth has happened there? A complete glitch. We've turned the ball over. Somehow. That's what I mean. I'm not sure how much longevity this game is going to have until those types of glitches are sorted. That flow throw was definitely not straight there. Right. Why does the 13 get the ball in open space and pass it? And the England has gone through there. And... I believe there was an interception because we've lost the ball. We're still playing this first half, which is incredible, really. I think someone would kick the ball out for a rest. And now Darlington are away again. They've got a chance. I don't think we're going to get to half time until someone has scored here because both teams... There we go. We've got another penalty, which we will kick for touch again. Pass out wide. Let's see if it happens again. 12. The 13. Just drive forward, you would think. Into space. We've got up. And we've gone over for the try. So, 
<laughs> as again, conversion's been missed, but yeah, another huge. We're going to go for a defense stace team talk. Another huge glitch. Fortunately for us, it's in favor of us this time. We've gone for a defense based team talk. And we have got a knock on there. So we've got the scrum. And we are going to kick from goal from there. Add these points to the board. Or not. Absolutely miles away. Jenkins with a disappointing penalty. We've still got the ball. No, we haven't. Jinxed it again. Darlington have turned it over. And that is a yellow card for Taunton. High tackle. So we've put ourselves under pressure big time for the next 10 minutes. Darlington are on our 22. More glitches. Can we keep still? Luckily, Ollie Hodgton has knocked it on. Let's go for something adventurous in our own 22. Or not. Because they've won the scrum. They've kicked to touch. And now they really are hammering down the door. Number 13 again. So much space out wide for these players. What's happened here? Turn it over. Come on. Darlington. There we go. They finally made it pay. Darlington, Modem Park. Let's go for a long kickoff. We've got 20 minutes to see what we can do here. Two point game, so all to play for still. It really is. Let's win that back. Right. We've got it in a good position. Shall we kick for goal this time? Ewan Jenkins. That one is between the sticks. And we take a one-point lead with 15 minutes to go. Can this be our first victory of the season? We have got the ball. We've won the penalty. We're kicking for touch. Darlington have got the yellow as well. And I'm not going to say anything about having the man advantage. I'm not going to jinx it. Tom Popham there runs into traffic. Be lovely to get another score to wrap this up. Andy England has knocked it on. But we've done the business and won the scrum. Coming up to five minutes remaining. Just take your time. Take your time. Just don't lose that ball. Come on then. Number four. Subs are on. We're out wide. Kazaluskis inside to Matty Jones. Can we finish this game with a bang? 80 minutes are up. Do we go for the score or do we just get rid of the ball? We get rid of the ball. And we pick up our first win of the season. Another hard, close fought matchup. This time, Taunton coming out on top. Frankie Dart, man of the match, with a 95 rating, but some good performances across the board there. Nice to get ourselves over the line finally and win this matchup. So let's get back to the main screen where we have. Charlie Wright's been banned for 12 days for a high tackle. And there we go. Joe Southby giving us a backing adjusted, which is good to see. We have picked up our first win. We are sat there in 10th with two losses and one win. Darlington, same as us. Um, they were 1-1, lost one before they fought us. And we came out on top. So there we go. That'll do for episode number four, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please do drop a like if you have. Leave a comment down below. Of course, as I always say, let me know what you think I should be doing with this team. And any advice is grateful. Please do 
smooth that subscribe button to stay up to date with the channel. And I'll see you next time in the virtual scrum. Man, from Bristol. Take two shots of the ting. Come let it bang like a pistol. Girl in the party, blowing the ting, just like a whistle. Yeah, they love their god, but where we're from, it's more like a crystal. Cause man, from Bristol. Man are from Bristol Take two shots of the ting Come let it bang like a pistol Girl in the party blowing the ting Just like a